In a scorching afternoon, Mayhul was headed to cafe when he receives a call that a precious diamond has been stolen from the city's auditorium. Without a second thought, Mayhul takes a sharp turn towards the auditorium and speeds off to the crime scene. Upon arriving at the auditorium, Mayhul immediately interrogates the security guard. Sir, the diamond was safe here until this morning, but it disappeared gradually. Mayhul then investigated with the auditorium manager. Who all came here since morning? No one has come here since morning, and I can't understand how the diamond disappeared. The security here was very strict, and we even had radar security installed. If someone entered, we would have received a signal, but that did not happen. Mayhul looked at the place where the diamond was kept, and it was painted green. He suspected that the manager was involved in the theft. Can you tell me why Mayhul thought the manager could be involved in the theft after seeing him? Look carefully and tell me your answer by commenting. The manager's shirt also has the same green color that was on the stolen diamonds hall. Tell me the truth, are you also involved in the theft? No sir, why would I do such a thing? You can watch the CCTV footage if you want. I did go to that hall after the theft. Mayhul watches all the CCTV footage. So the manager was telling the truth. He went to the hall where the theft occurred, where this color must have been transferred onto his shirt. Mayhul watches the CCTV footage carefully. No footage was missing, and the diamond was also visible in the footage, but while watching, the diamond disappeared from there. How? It was not clear to him, and then Mayhul gets another call that the same type of theft has occurred at Diamond Palace. Mayhul immediately reaches Diamond Palace in his car, but he will have to solve a small math problem to enter inside. How many times does one repeat in counting from 1 to 100? So can you answer this? Quickly think and tell me your answer by commenting. Mayhul is a very intelligent spy. He immediately types 21 and enters inside the Diamond Palace. Logical army, if your answer is not 21, pause the video and think carefully. Mayhul, after speaking to the manager there, immediately rushes to check the CCTV cameras. But alas, from morning till noon, nobody had come, and the precious diamond kept safe and radar security was stolen. It was an extremely valuable diamond, indeed. How is it possible that someone could leave without being caught on the CCTV camera? There must be something fishy. Mayhul's hands don't seem to have any evidence. After this, Mayhul finds out how many diamond showrooms are there in this city. Then he comes to know that there is another palace in the city named the Golden Palace, and theft has already occurred in the other two palaces. Mayhul reaches the Golden Palace and meets the manager there directly. I am Detective Mayhul, and it appears that there could be a diamond heist in your palace. I implore you to activate all of your cameras and heighten your security immediately. And there Mayhul waits, with bated breath, for the thief to show up. He has been relentlessly pursuing this thief since the break of dawn, and his stomach growls in hunger as he hasn't eaten a thing. So, he takes out a packet of biscuits, eats it, and throws it in the dustbin beside him. After a few moments, all the diamonds in the palace disappear. Mayhul is bewildered and checks the CCTV footage, but there is no activity. How is this possible? The case has become very interesting. Suddenly, his eyes fall on the dustbin, and he immediately realizes that someone must have come here. Can you tell by looking at the dustbin if someone had come or not? Look closely and let me know your answer by commenting. When Mayhul had put his biscuit packet in the dustbin, it was completely empty. But now, there is also a chocolate packet in the dustbin. Someone had come and put the chocolate packet here after eating it. This means that someone had indeed come here. Mayhul quickly checks the CCTV footage again, but he cannot see anyone. This is beyond his understanding. Mayhul immediately sets out to meet the scientist Bolbalea. The scientist had set up a maze to reach him. Can you tell which path leads to the scientist by looking at A, B, and C? The path to the scientist is B, and Mayhul takes that route to reach him. Mayhul tells the scientist about the thief, who cannot be seen on CCTV and is committing thefts. The scientist listens intently and then starts pacing back and forth. In this world, there is nothing like ghosts or supernatural things, and such an event is only possible through a time machine, which means that the time machine has been created. And only Professor Deck can do this job, 
We both were working on this project 10 years ago but we were not successful. Mayhul immediately reaches Professor Dex's house. Professor Dex's house was in a forest far from the city, he liked to live alone. Mayhul reaches in front of his house. Inside, Professor Deck was doing some research. Mayhul asked him about the time machine. Yes, I have made this machine and I can do whatever I want with it whenever I want. And I have stolen all the diamonds from the city. How did you steal the diamonds? I was in the Golden Palace at that time. You took the diamonds from there and I didn't even know. There was no image of you in the CCTV camera. How is this possible? Young boy, if you answer one of my questions, I will tell you everything. Please ask, sir. What is time? What is the definition of time? Sir, to continuously flow is the name of time, to never stop is the work of time. Professor Deck laughs out loud. I have changed this definition. Now, with the help of the time machine, I can go behind time as well. And he tells Mayhul how he stole the diamonds. With the help of a time machine, I can take myself back in time so that you can't see me today. He takes Mayhul with him to the same day at the Golden Palace with the help of his time machine. When the theft of the diamonds took place, Mayhul sees Professor Deck coming comfortably and taking the diamonds and throwing a chocolate wrapper into the dustbin at that time. And no one could see him because he was not in the present, but in another time. Mayhul understands the whole game. Sir, I respect your talent, but you are not doing the right thing by misusing it. Young boy, you don't know the value of money yet. Everything can be done with money. And I'm a genius. You won't even be able to defeat me. And he disappears. Mayhul quickly gets out of his car and reaches scientist Bulbilea, telling him everything. Ten years ago, we both made a time machine but we could only go back to our past. If we make any changes in the past, it will affect the present. That's why we never used that machine. The scientist takes Mayhul to the time machine. Interesting, very, very interesting. Now, I will go to the past with the help of this machine and find a way to catch Professor Deck, so that he will become his present and he will be arrested by the police in the future. Mayhul goes to the past with the help of a time machine and arrives at the same golden palace where Professor Deck had committed the theft. After that, Professor Deck comes there while eating chocolate and throws the packet in the dustbin and starts lifting the diamonds, thinking that he is alone and no one is watching him. But Mayhul was there with full preparation and he catches him. However, Professor Deck escapes immediately to his future with the help of the time machine where he escapes from Mayhul's grip. Mayhul immediately goes to the Diamond Palace, which was his second past, to catch Professor Deck and waits for his arrival. But Professor Deck doesn't come. He comes one day after that day, which is in the future. Steals and runs away, and Mayhul can't do anything. Now, Mayhul has one last chance to catch Professor Deck at the city auditorium. Mayhul arrives there two days early and plants hidden thorns everywhere. Two days later, Professor Deck arrives there, and Mayhul activates the thorns, causing him to fall and scream in pain. Mayhul catches him and destroys his machine, and the entire present changes. And Professor Deck is caught. Thank you.